Hi, everybody. I just uh, found a link that somebody provided below one of my videos. It's about the Oroville Dam. I'm going to play just a few minutes of it. Very important. Um, we are now at 890.95 feet. That's the Lake Oroville. That all that water is uh, sitting behind Oroville Dam and their own spokeswoman, Department of Water Resource spokeswoman, gave an interview stating that they release water at 855 feet so that they leave 50 feet uh, free of water to accommodate the snow melt coming down from the Sahara Mountains. Okay, well, uh, what's going on? That they're not releasing any of this water. I want you to listen to just a few minutes of what Dave Hodges has to say. Paul Preston and others have been saying now for weeks that the spillway is damaged beyond usage. The spillway contains pictures now that I've been publishing now for a good three weeks on the commonsenshow.com and it shows the water coming up to the cracks. They've been grouting, which is no more than a cosmetic move. And the next day the grouting has failed, the water again resurfaces, yet they want to put out the pictures following immediate grouting to show there are no leaks in the spillway. Well, today, this morning, the Department of Water Resources basically admitted the spillway is not usable. Okay, I do not know where he got that information. I tried to find. Uh, is the Department of Water Resources putting out announcements saying that the spillway is not usable? This is why I do not like it when people do not do not cite sources or where you can find the information, leave us links so that we don't have to spend hours looking for information. Oh, it's very, very, oh, well, let's go on. They're using a workaround, an emergency workaround, to try to delay the inevitable. I'll get to that workaround in just a moment. However, and here's the big however, this situation is invoking, well, let, let's back up. Here are sheer numbers. Number one, the outflow that the dam can generate right now is so compromised it can't expel 10,000 cubic square feet of water per second. Can't. 9,500 is your typical number. The inflow, things derived from water upstream, whether it be from rain, from snow, from melted snowpack, and the melted snowpack doesn't reach its peak until July. It's now raining at the dam. It's projected, projected to rain for the next three days. The inflow right now is at 17,500 cubic square feet. All right. Um, well, he may have posted that, well, he posted it today, but he may have gotten those numbers yesterday. Um, what I'm seeing is for the last uh, uh, numbers recorded, which was at 2 o'clock your time in California. So let me refresh this. Okay. So, 3 o'clock, all right, the level is holding steady, and the outflow is 11,840. The inflow is 11,934, so a little bit more is coming in than going out, which is why you see it rising uh, in how much water is in there. Okay, Carol, learn how to talk. Essentially, what Dave Hodges is saying is that the Department of Water Resources has essentially admitted that it is, uh, the spillway is not usable. If anybody can find any information that uh, c 
confirms what David Dave Hodges says here. That would be helpful. Could you put the link below? You are getting more rain. Please, you guys, click on the link below. You guys who will be affected if this dam uh, collapses. Listen to what he has to say. People apparently are evacuating already. Um, others are ready to evacuate and will evacuate based on, you know, their own um, calculation of when it's going to go. I checked uh, Paul Preston's site, and he doesn't have anything new on his site. Nothing new from the video that I posted yesterday. You are getting rain, well, according to radar, you are getting rain. Um, it looks like the Oroville Dam, it looks, it, it, you know, in looking at this, it looks like they may be taking the rain from Oroville. Now, because I can't get any names on this radar site of cities and towns and everything, I'm guessing. But it does look as if frequencies are preventing the rain from coming right here in this area. And that is essentially, you know, the Oroville area. And you can see, yes, a very defined line. So, uh, does look like more storms are being heated for you in Northern California. These storms going up central United States do not look good at all. You can see the chemtrailing going on in the periphery of these storms. And yeah, uh, more storms, more storms, more storms. Oh God, now we have the weed whacker. I will link below to this article. More storms, I, California, Western United States into Memorial Day weekend. Yes, this is life here in Anderson, South Carolina. Another summer, another summer. All right, all links are below.